An emotional day in court as the suspects in two deadly New Year's Day crashes face a judge. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Yacono. And I'm Kim Kalunian. Both 30-year-old Aramis Segura and 42-year-old Gregory Miller are accused of causing those crashes and then fleeing the scenes. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock was at Kent County District Courthouse today for their arraignments and brings us those details. Matt. Yeah, Kim, emotional is right. 30 year old Arama Segura barely able to put together words in the courtroom today as loved ones of Olivia Passaretti and Nanlio Marie's Albazu making sure their voices were heard. Thank you. A courtroom full of emotion. Sir, step out. As loved ones of 17 year old Olivia Passaretti and 34 year old Nanlio Marie's Albazu crying out in court today. I want justice for my sister. Elbazu's sister still in disbelief with the court's decision. I'm sorry, it was just an instant that I couldn't control. That man killed my sister. 42-year-old Gregory Miller granted 50,000 surety bail, his license revoked. They gave him bail. I just want justice for my sister, Nalyamaris Elbazu. <laughs> Arama Segura visibly shaken, barely able to get words out as a judge granted a request from state police to increase his bond from 10,000 to 250,000 surety. Segura will be held on superior court charges. I have no words except he has to pay and we need justice for this man. According to police, Segura admitting to having three beers and smoking marijuana, as well as driving the car that killed Olivia Pazzaretti on 95 South in Warwick. Something in the system went wrong. Something was broken. Um, that's all I can say about that. Now, according to court documents, both men are due back in court in March. But in the meantime, here in East Greenwich, in the next half hour, a vigil is going to be held in honor of Olivia Passaretti. Reporting live in East Greenwich, Matt Paddock, 12 News.